Hey there, everyone. Welcome back to Doki Doki Literature Club. Last time, I noticed something a bit up with Sayori, plus I had some bonding time with Yuri. But I think today I'm going to start with Sayori in the hopes of maybe making her feel a bit better. Hmm. It's nice, I guess. Come on, I can already tell you don't like it. Well, you don't need to worry about what I think. After all, you wrote this for someone else, didn't you? Probably Yuri. Eh, I didn't write this for anyone specifically. Uh, yeah, it's totally, totally, uh, totally. Maybe... That's not really what I meant, though. But it's okay. You're making new friends, just like I was hoping. That makes me really happy. I get the feeling you're not happy on the inside, Sayori. And you're happy too, right? In this club? Well, of course I am. Good! That's all that matters to me. Thank you, Em. Sayori... Is there something wrong? Huh? No, nothing. I'm just a little tired today. <laughs> All right. Just tell me if you need anything. I will. Don't worry about me, okay? You can go play with everyone else now. If you insist. Yay! I'm gonna go home a little bit early today. Sayori? Tell Monica I wasn't feeling well, okay? I'll see you tomorrow. Before I can say anything else, Sayori cheerfully walks out of the classroom humming to herself. We, we didn't even share poems, um... Okay, I'm gonna talk to Yuri. Um, your writing has only improved in these last few days. Every poem you've shown me has been nothing short of spectacular. Except the first one, but... I think now I believe it's spectacular. I can really feel the emotions. I'm a little envious, even. I don't think it ever came to me this naturally. Yuri, that's the wrong way to put it. This never did come naturally to me. But I've been able to improve so much thanks to you. You're really the example I was chasing after. I is that so? Yuri gently smiles to herself. This feeling. I'm so glad I got the chance to share my writing. I never thought it would feel like this. I remember you mentioning that yesterday. I can't believe that you're so good at something and you've never even shared it with anyone. It's kind of a shame. Maybe, but it's not like I really had a choice. What do you mean? Well, Yodi smiles sadly. Um, during lunchtime, I eat by myself. Did you know that? It's a great time to find a quiet spot and do some reading. In fact, I always have some books with me. You could say I really enjoy reading. Well, that's one way to put it anyway. But books are so full of amazing and inspiring people. People you want to fall in love with. Or people you just know would make a really good friend. Cheerful people who always put a smile on your face. Or deep thinkers and problem solvers who discover the mysteries of life. So when you look at it that way, I'm surrounded by friends every day. You know? And those friends don't laugh at me. They don't tease me for spacing out all the time. They don't make fun of my body type. And... And they don't hate me for acting like a know-it-all. Pe people say that about you? I'm not a know-it-all, Em. It's the opposite. I don't know anything. I don't know how to talk to people. I don't know how to make people see me as normal. I don't even know how to make myself happy. Oh, um... Sorry, guys. Um, I'm trying not to get tearful here. I have all these feelings, and all I can do with them is read and write. But it wasn't until now that I started sharing it with you, that I really understood what was missing all this time. But I haven't really done anything. No, that's wrong. Just being patient and respectful. That's really important to me. I know I'm a difficult person, Em. I speak too slowly. I second-guess myself all the time. I read too deeply into things. But every time, you've always treated me just like everyone else. It's so rare that I feel comfortable with myself when I talk to others. But that's why every time I talk to you, I just feel really happy. I see. Well, I treat you how you deserve to be treated, Yuri. And if other people don't see it that way, then screw them. I mean, I joined this club hoping I would make friends. 
And I would say I've had at least one success. Wouldn't you? Uh, um, if you put it that way. Yeah. We really are friends now, aren't we? Judy puts her head in her hands, but this time she's smiling as she does it. Do you want to show me your poem? Yeah, I do. Let me get it for you. Beach. A marvel millions of years in the making, where the womb of Earth chaotically meets the surface. Under a clear blue sky, an expanse of bliss. But beneath gray rolling clouds, an endless enigma, the easiest world to get lost in, is one where everything can be found. One can only build a sand castle where the sand is wet, but where the sand is wet, the tide comes. Will it gently lick at your foundations until you give in? Or will a sudden wave send you crashing down in the blink of an eye? Either way, the outcome is the same. Yet we still build sand castles. I stand where the foam wraps- oh, whoops. I stand where the foam wraps around my ankles, where my toes squish into the sand. The salty air is therapeutic. The breeze is gentle and yet powerful. I sink my toes into the ultimate boundary line, tempted by the foamy tendrils. Turn back, and I abandon my peace to erode at the shore. Drift forward, and I return to Earth forevermore. Yeah, oh god, I feel like I should give all of you hugs. I feel like I should make sure y'all are okay or something. Are you okay, by the way? I hope you are. Um, I'm aware that the beach is kind of an inane thing to write about. But I did my best to take a metaphorical approach to it. You say that like you didn't even want to write about it. Oh, you haven't heard? After yesterday, Natsuki and I, well, it was amusing that we wrote about something similar in such different ways. So Natsuki wanted us to write about the same topic as each other again. I suppose to better compare the differences in our writing styles, or thought processes. Anyway, it was her idea. Knowing her, it's no surprise that she'd want to do something like that. She probably just wants to show off. It's not like I have a particular interest in her writing style. I just went with her request. But, well, I suppose it's not so bad to write about something simple on occasion. It can be refreshing, you know? It's good for me to calm my thoughts once in a while. Yeah, I think I agree. Thanks for sharing. Okay, Monica! Hi, Em! Have you thought about what you want to submit to perform at the festival? Well, being in this club is one thing. But performing in front of a bunch of people... I'll have to give it some more thought. Okay, no pressure. But whatever you do, I'm sure it'll turn out great. It would also make me happy to see. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at today's poem. Sure. I'd let Monica take the poem I'm holding in my hands. This one's good. It feels like you're not only getting more comfortable with your style, but the imagery is better than the last one I read. Just wondering. But I've been finding an inspiration in Yuri's writing style. Hmm, maybe. I guess so. You can't deny that she's talented. Yeah, totally! I think her poems are the most... romantic. That's the best way to describe it. She's like a totally different person when she picks up a pen. I noticed that too. Or when she's talking about literature, it's like a light turns on inside of her. Mm-hmm. Sadly, it's hard to get much personal conversation out of her. Trust me, I've tried. Who knows what goes on in that head of hers? I hope you don't mean that in a bad way. No, of course not! I just meant that I wish she didn't keep so much to herself. But still, defending her like that? You must be pretty into her. Eh? You completely misunderstood! Haha, <laughs> calm down, I'm kidding! Besides, I'm pretty sure she's already got a boyfriend. Wait, really? Yeah, a fictional one anyway. Monica kind of whispers that last part to me. It's just a hunch, but... Well, there's not really anything wrong with that. Oh, well, now I know. I was just saying. Anyway, I'll share my poem with you now, alright? Er, alright. The Lady Who Knows Everything. An old tale tells of a lady who wanders Earth. The lady who knows everything. A beautiful lady who has found every answer. All meaning, all purpose, and all that was ever sought. And here I am. A feather. Lost adrift in the sky, victim of the currents of the wind. Day after day I search. I search with little hope, knowing legends don't exist. But when all else has failed me, when all others have turned away, the legend is all that remains. The last dim star glimmering in the twilight sky. Until one day the wind ceases to blow. I fall. And I fall and fall and fall even more. 
gentle as a feather, a dry quill, expressionless. But a hand catches me between the thumb and forefinger, the hand of a beautiful lady. I look at her eyes and find no end to her gaze. The lady who knows everything knows what I am thinking. Before I can speak, she responds in a hollow voice. I have found every answer, all of which amount to nothing. There is no meaning. There is no purpose. And we seek only the impossible. I am not your legend. Your legend does not exist. And with a breath, she blows me back afloat, and I pick up a gust of wind. Hmm. You know? I feel like learning and looking for answers are the sorts of things that give life meaning. Not to get too philosophical or anything, but it was kind of on my mind, so that's what I wrote about. I see. I never really put much thought into it. In a way, it's almost paradoxical. Because if we had all the answers, wouldn't the world start to lose its meaning? You know, there's one thing I noticed. It seems like everyone in the club prefers writing about things that are more sad than happy. Yeah, I noticed that too. <laughs> are you surprised? I mean, if everything was okay, we wouldn't really have anything to write about, would we? Humans aren't two-dimensional creatures. I think you'd know that better than anyone. You mean one-dimensional? <laughs> yeah, that! Anyway, here's Monica's writing tip of the day. Are you ever too shy to share your writing because you're afraid it's not that good? Yes. It can be really disheartening to get a lukewarm response to something you put so much into. But if you find other people who enjoy writing, then sharing becomes a lot easier. Because instead of just telling you that your writing is good or okay or bad, they'll want to focus more on everything that went into it and the things you can work on. It's much more encouraging that way, and it'll make you want to continue improving. It's almost like having your own little literature club, don't you think? That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening! Alright, Natsuki, your turn. You're probably not gonna like my poem. Hey, wait a minute. I never told Monica about Sayori leaving. Hmm. This one's alright. Alright? Well, yeah. About as good as yesterday's, anyway. I seem to be a bit neutral on Natsuki's end. I see what you're going for, but it's just not really my style. I mean, that's fine. I'm mostly just glad that you're trying a little bit. Well, of course I'm at least trying. Why are you so emotionally invested in my poems anyway? Isn't that more of a compliment to me? Eh? No! Gross! It's not like I care! There you go again, being a tsundere. It's just that one of us in this club has to make sure you're not slacking off! Really? Well, what if you ended up just scaring me away? That's, um... It's not like you would actually do that. Yeah, you're right. It's kind of fun to hang out here, even if I have to put up with you. Natsuki's elbow connects with my stomach. Oh, maybe I won't mind scaring you away after all. I was just joking. <laughs> oh, I know. Don't worry, I was too. Hmm. <laughs> How the hell do you call that a joke? That seriously hurt. Well, maybe it was funny to her. I guess that's kind of the point. I should really just watch my mouth around Nats Natsuki. Anyway, Natsuki holds her poem out to me like nothing even happened. I'll be your beach. Your mind is so full of troubles and fears that diminished your wonder over the years. But today I have a special place, a beach for us to go. A shore reaching beyond your sight, a sea that sparkles with brilliant light, the walls in your mind will melt away before the sunny glow. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about every day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap, in a way you thought had left you long ago. Let's bury your heavy thoughts in a pile of sand. Bathe in sunbeams and hold my hand. Wash your insecurities in the salty sea, and let me see you shine. Let's leave your memories in a footprint trail. Set you free in my windy sail. And remember the reasons you're wonderful when you press your lips to mine. I'll be the beach that washes your worries away. I'll be the beach that you daydream about each day. I'll be the beach that makes your heart leap in a way you thought had left you long ago. But if you let me by your side, your own beach, your own escape, you'll learn to love yourself again. Hey, that's... Well, more positive than the other ones, I'd say. It, I was about to say, oh, hey, that's more positive, but then I remembered the last line, you'll learn to love yourself again. Which, yeah, that, I would still say this is more positive than the other ones. The other ones ended on a bit of a grim note. This one's more of a hopeful note. So that's good. Yeah. 
I felt like I kept writing about negative things, so I wanted to write something with a nice message for once. Thank you, Natsuki. Besides, the beach is awesome! I'm sure it is. I live too far away from any beaches. Though apparently I've heard there's beaches alongside the Mississippi River, or at least some sort of beach. I'd rather not, though. I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Nuh-uh. Not drowning in the Mississippi, nope. Kinda hard to write anything negative about the beach. Well, Yuri's take on it was a little more solemn. Well, that's... Jeez. She better not have said anything bad about mine. After all, she was the one who wanted us to write about the same topic. Ugh. You can really see her doing that, too. Making us write about a simple topic, then trying to impress me by coming up with something all fancy. Well, it's not like I care. I just did it anyway. I mean, I guess mine ended up being kind of metaphorical, too. But there's nothing wrong with doing that once in a while. At the very least, it was good practice. Okay, you three. We're all done sharing poems, right? Why don't we start figuring out... Hold on a second! Is it just me, or did you say something strange just now? Eh? Something did sound a bit unusual. That's right. You deviated from your usual catchphrase when addressing the club. C catchphrase I don't have a catchphrase. Jeez, why is the mood so weird today? Look, even Yuri isn't immune to it. Ugh. Stagnating air is common foreshadowing that something terrible is about to happen. Yuri, don't say that, please! In your books, maybe. Look, the only thing different is that Sayori isn't here. Uh, it seems you're right. Uh, Sayori always helps lighten the mood a little bit, doesn't she? It's almost like everyone's balance is thrown off a little when she's not around. Where the heck did she run off to, anyway? I thought she just went to pee. Natsuki, please show some decency. Oh, come on! Ah, she actually wasn't feeling too well and went home early. Is that so? I hope she's alright. Seriously? Of all the times to not go home with her, you pick the time she's not feeling well? So much for you two being all lovey-dovey. Uh, no! First of all, stop misunderstanding my friendship with Sayori. We're just childhood friends. Nothing really more than that. And second, she's kind of been avoiding me today, so I didn't want to force it. Huh? That curious expression coming from Yuri, of all people? Calm down, guys! I talked to her earlier and everything is fine. What did she say? Anyway, we need to figure out the rest of the festival preparation, so... Hey, Monica! What did she say? Let's decide what everyone will be doing this weekend. I already know what I'm doing. That's right. Natsuki will be making cupcakes. But we might need a lot of them and different flavors. Can you handle that all by yourself, Natsuki? Challenge accepted! And as for myself, I'm going to be printing and assembling all the poetry pamphlets. Sayori will be helping me design them. And as for Yuri... Yuri, you can, uh... Uh, um... Huh? Guys, can you help me come up with something for Yuri? I... I'm useless. Don't say that! No! That's not it at all! You're the most talented person here, you know! N now Natsuki's padding too? Jeez, even I can tell now. I guess I never gave Sayori enough credit, but I can tell things are even harder on you when she's not around. Uh, that may be the case. But if I can't also be a leader on my own, then I won't grow as a person. So, Yuri, you have beautiful handwriting, you know? So you should make some banners and decorations to help set the atmosphere. Atmosphere? Um, about that. I... I love atmosphere. Yuri's expression suddenly changes as she stares at her desk in focus and starts nodding to herself. Your mind is already racing, I see. That's great! You'll be a wonderful help, Yuri. But anyway, that just leaves you, Em. The one who is truly useless. <laughs> Don't say that! In fact, both Natsuki and Yuri have some pretty heavy tasks to handle. It would probably go a long way to give one of them a hand. You could always help me out as well. I would be really appreciative of that. Uh, that's... Is Monica suggesting I spend the weekend with one of my club members? How on earth are they going to respond to a suggestion like that? Uh, I suppose I wouldn't mind a bit of help. Well, even if you don't know how to bake, there's always some dirty work I could give to you. It's not like Monica's gonna give me a choice, and you shouldn't be sitting on your butt anyway. Natsuki tries to mumble a bunch of excuses like that. Um, 
If I recall, Natsuki, you mentioned that you would like to handle the baking on your own. M may not like to be around if you only make her out to be a nuisance. So therefore, she may be more suited to assisting with the decorations. Hold on! I never said that! How hard could it be to make a few decorations anyway? Sounds more like you're just making excuses for M to... What are you saying? It'll be extremely meticulous work. And baking isn't? Just what do you think? Guys! Guys! Let's settle down for a moment. In the end, I think it's up to M to decide how she'd like to contribute. Besides, she hasn't really gotten the chance to spend any time with me yet, you know? So I'm sure she's interested in... You literally just said... I I'm surprised as well. Sorry, sorry. I was just saying, though. Jeez. Can we just sell this already? Yeah. M, you're okay with this, right? In the end, it's up to you. Uh, of course. <laughs> Very well. In that case, everyone looks straight at me. But of course, I'm going with... I would like to be with Yuri, but my mind's saying I should check on Sayori and make sure she's okay. I don't want to go on Natsuki, and I don't really want to go with Monica, so it's either Yuri or Sayori. I'm amazed. I'm glad that's an option, but at the same time, it makes this harder. I, I want to be with Yuri, but... Yeah, my my brain is kind of thinking I should check on, make sure Sayori's okay. I mean, if it's going to be anyone, then I prefer helping Sayori. I mean, we're already neighbors, and... But Monica said... Monica said that Sayori was helping her! Jeez! Do you really hate us that much? No! No! Sorry, I didn't mean for this to be difficult. Just think of the club, okay? Okay, I see. Never mind. Sayori wasn't an option to begin with. Well, in that case, I'll go with Yuri. Well, I'll probably be most useful helping out Yuri. M me Are you serious? Why would you- Natsuki! I can already tell you're about to say something mean. N no I was just saying- Ugh! So, you'll be helping Yuri then, Em? Yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I'm glad. I have a bad habit of overthinking these sorts of things. So I think your assistance will be very useful. That's great to hear. Natsuki, will you be able to handle the baking yourself? I mean, yeah. I already said I would be fine. Okay, okay. Everyone can tell that Natsuki is feeling a little sour. So, is that everything we needed to go over? Yeah, that should be about it. Are you guys excited? Well, excited may not be the right word. But I suppose I'm looking forward to it a little bit. Do you feel the same way, Em? Me? Uh, I guess you could say I'm interested to see how it'll turn out. That's good enough for me. What about you, Natsuki? Mm. Natsuki? What? Why is everyone yelling at me? I didn't even do anything. N no. That's not what I meant at all. Uh. Yuri anxiously glances between everyone in the room. I'm sorry for this. I don't really know why Em picked me. And also, your cupcakes are the best cupcakes I've ever had. They go really well with my tea, and nothing that I do for the event will compare to that, so... Yuri, don't say that. So... I get it, I get it. I'm kind of surprised, though. Why? Um, well, I'm the one acting immature. I already know that. But you're trying to cheer me up all of a sudden. Uh, I know I'm not very good at it. I'm sorry if I said something bad. Natsuki isn't the only one surprised. Monica and I are also taken aback by Yuri's words. When she already has trouble with words, trying to cheer someone up must be far out of her own comfort zone. But I begin to understand. Yuri was trying to sound like Sayori. Even if it didn't work perfectly, I can tell that she tried to say something Sayori would say at a time like this. Because Sayori always helps everyone smile and feel good about themselves. No, I kind of appreciated it. I'm sorry for making a big deal out of nothing. But I'm going to say this. Hmm? You better bet that my cupcakes are going to be the best part of the whole event! Uh, I believe you. Yeah! I hope to see everyone do their best. But with that, there's nothing more for today. So I guess it's time for us to head out. Alright, let's get out of here then. Everyone packs up their things. I start to follow Monica and Atsuki out of the door as they chat between each other. Uh, um... Eh? Huh? I turn around. Sorry. I realize that I don't have any way of contacting you this weekend. Oh, you're right. I can't believe that slipped my mind. Should I give you my phone number? I think that would be the best way, yes. Alright then. Yuri and I exchange phone numbers. Okay. 
We got our phone number, guys. On the other hand, I'm still really worried about Sayori. Then I'll be stopping by your house on Sunday. Eh? My house? Is that a problem? No, not at all. I just thought that I would be the one going to your house, since I'm the one helping you. Uh, I suppose that makes sense. But if you don't mind, I think I would prefer going to your house. Alright. In that case, it won't be a problem. I decided not to press Yuri for a reason. It's not like it should matter much either way, so I'll just need to make sure my room is clean. I hope I manage to make myself useful in some way. I'm not nearly as creative as you are. Don't underestimate yourself, Em. I think that we'll make a very productive team. Even if you only chose me because you felt bad or something. Wait! You don't actually think that, do you? Yuri... I... don't know. It's difficult to come up with any other reason you may have chosen me. You're forgetting the one reason with the most common sense. I chose to help you because that's what I want to do. But, but... Yuri thinks to herself with an extremely tense expression. Yuri, you're overthinking this. You wanted me to point out when you're overthinking, right? Uh, I didn't realize. I'm telling you, I want to. That's all there is to it. Do you believe me? I... Yuri thinks really hard again. She looks straight into my eyes for a long while. I believe you. As if it took her tremendous effort, Yuri finally says that and relaxes her expression. And I'm really looking forward to Sunday. Yeah, I am too. After that exchange, I make my way out the door and Yuri follows. I can't believe this! Yuri is going to be coming to my house on Sunday? Even though I would have preferred to do this with Sayori, my anxiety still shoots through the roof. I guess I've gotten pretty used to handling her at this point. But who knows what might end up happening when we're outside of school. She even told me she was looking forward to it. I shake my head. Why do I feel n nervous that Sayori finds out about this? It's not like we feel that way about each other. Besides, like Monica said, this is about the club. I have nothing to worry about. If I just go with it, then I'll have a good time. I hope so. Alright, okay. I'm gonna stop right here because it's a bit past my recording, um, time. It's a bit past three minutes, so that'll be it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Next time, it's gonna be Sunday Fun Day with Yuri. And by fun day, I hope one that's just us getting stuff done. And not something, you know, that you usually see in dating sims. Anyhow, I hope you have a good morning, day, or night, wherever you are. And I will catch you later. Bye.